Hello everybody, Neve here. Wow, my hair is really quite a thing. Anyway, it is Wednesday, March 1st, which means it's the premiere of season six of Catfish. And to kick things off, we have a very special treat for you. This year we decided to go back through the archives and create a couple of characters uh, characters create a couple of categories that we thought deserved awards. We put them online. You guys voted, and so we are giving out seven awards this year for a number of incredible reasons. One of the awards is for best meltdown. Another for catfish king, catfish queen. We've got best co-host. Your favorite throwback. Uh, the Realist Deal, and The Ultimate Catfish Hook. So seven awards, seven winners, all voted on by you guys. So I have a very special co-host for this year's first annual Fishies Awards. And actually two co-hosts, I should say. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here they are. Small hands reaching in. It's... Yes, look who it is. She's all dressed up for the awards. She's, who are you wearing, Cleo? Who are you wearing for this year's <laughs> Fishy Awards? Huh? She's not sure. Who's she She's wearing? not sure. I think this might be from the Baby Gap. Baby Gap? Baby Ooh, Gap. love Baby Gap. Very, very, very nice. Chic. Very chic. Anyway, and my other co-host... Hi. ...is Laura, my beautiful baby mama. Hi, guys. Who do you think she looks like more? Me or Laura? Lean in here. Let's see. Anybody want to tell us? Who <laughs> anyway, so we're going to give out these incredible awards live right now. And why don't we kick things off with the best meltdown. We've had a lot of them over the years. I've had some. Max has had some. Some of our co-hosts and some of our, well, people on the show have had some too. But you guys voted. And the first fishy award ever... <laughs> For best meltdown, who's it go to, Cleo? Goes to Machine Gun hey, Kelly. That's right. Check it out, Machine Gun Kelly, for the best meltdown. He gets this beautiful fish. I don't know if it's a catfish or a bass, but it looks it's close kinda, enough. It's kind of awesome. Look at that, Cleo. Look, you want to hold that? It's an award for a meltdown. Yeah. You you have meltdowns sometimes. Maybe someday oh, you'll win. Maybe someday you'll win an award for your meltdowns. Anyway, let's keep moving. Next category is Catfish King. Now, obviously, arguably, Max and I are sort of the Catfish Kings, but that's not what this is about. This is about the catfish who was the most wild or crazy or, or did the most harm or was just overall the biggest catfish. And again, the people have spoken, and this award goes to... Goes to... Zach. Zach. Oh, you guys remember Zach from last season? He he was on Tinder and he had catfished like a couple hundred girls and we brought three of them to confront him and he was recording our conversation and he had stored all their pictures and videos. He was he was a creep. Hopefully he's changed his ways. I think, you know, there's still hope for him. But uh that was a tough category, but you guys chose Zach. Zach's so. the king. Congratulations, all Zach. Right. Finally, uh, something you can put on your desk and look at that isn't either appropriate. Well, what am I trying to say? I don't know what was on his desk. I don't know what was on his desk. I was trying to make a joke about like his floppy wet wee wee. Oh, now he maybe, could put his his wee wee in. Maybe you can fit the, it in that mouth. Maybe in the hole. Or right, right. In, you could put your little wiener in there because I doubt you're putting in any ladies lately. Anyway, <laughs> let's. Uh, Let's keep me. moving. Ooh. Me. Well, the guy, was, the guy was kind of a creep. I, I wish him well. I hope he's learned a lot, and, and I would be happy to give him a second chance. But he was kind of a perv. Um, all right. All so right. let's keep moving right along. Third award this year is for Catfish Queen, Queen. obviously. Um, a lot of incredible women have come on the show. Very skilled. As catfish and as hopefuls. But this is for the sort of biggest catfish queen from the last five seasons. 
And um, I'm actually, I love this one. I love this winner because we've had a lot of women who have done some pretty nasty stuff. Missy, for example, from way back in the beginning was, was one of the sort of ultimate catfish queens. But this is a little different. And again, you guys voted. This year the award goes to Whitney. Now, I don't know if you remember this, but um, Whitney was in the episode with Brie. And if I remember correctly, they actually catfished us. They knew who each they knew each other, but they had never met because she lived in New York and Bree lived in California. So they tricked us, and halfway through the episode, we discovered it. But we 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 were so happy that we could give them an opportunity to meet up that we actually went ahead with it anyway. So Whitney for catfishing me and Max, but for doing it, you know, all for love. You're the winner of this year's Catfish Queen Award. All right. Cleo, what do you think about that? She can't wait to catfish someone someday. She's going to be the queen, really. Yeah. She's going to know all the tricks. Someday someone's going to use your pictures probably to catfish someone. Oh, jeez. Watch out. Uh-oh. All right. Okay, next. Look how elegant. Such a nice dress, right? This is the first time we've ever dressed for like a girl, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> All right. Fourth okay. category this year is for best guest host. Now, we've had some amazing guest hosts for sure. Um, but again, you guys voted, and I'm very happy to report that the winner... I have to say, I was a little jealous on this episode. You were jealous. There was a lot of touching... Uh, yeah, I was like, I got a little jealous. I mean, Max and I have a bromance. I think you guys sure. went to the strip club. But I did have a special connection with Karuchi. I yeah! Mean, which is why she's this year's winner of Best Co-Host. We did have a lot of fun. And she's, yeah, she's she great. She seemed cool. So c congratulations, Karuchi, oh. on winning your first fishy. This is Karuchi's first nomination oh. and first win for Fishy <laughs> Awards. <laughs> All right, three categories left. Now, if you're still watching or if you're just tuning in, we're hosting the first ever Fishies Awards, all leading up to the season premiere of tonight's season six episode of Catfish at 8, 7 central. And it's a good one. So you're going to want to tune in. I've got my two incredible presenters here, Laura and Cleo. Cleo. Laura, by the way, has a brand new Facebook page. Lots of great stuff on there. Who knew Facebook was such a big thing? Turns out. <laughs> Turns it <is>. out. <laughs> so find her Facebook page. Uh, it's actually in the comment sort of pinned to the bottom of this video. You can click and find her there. Lots of smart articles, videos. It's really, basically me trolling Neve. Really, moment. really fun behind the scenes footage of us raising this beautiful oh, child. But yay. let's get back to All the right. last three categories. Fishies. Oh, this is for favorite throwback. Obviously, the show's been on the air for five years, and a lot's happened. We've filmed almost 100 episodes. So we asked you guys what your favorite episode was, and I have to say, very pleased to report that the Fishies Award for Best Throwback Episode... <laughs> you just threw up. Did you really? <laughs> she was working on something. You threw up. We hey. need a, where's it? Best throwback. Like best, throw <laughs> the best throw up award goes to. <laughs> Yay, Cleo! Get him, Cleo! <laughs> Get him! Get him! Cleo wins the best throw up award. Nice. Oh, you ruined your little dress. You had a nice meal before we got on here. You got your little dress all burpy. Yeah. Ooh. That felt good. Yay! I bet. You think that's funny? <laughs> Is that funny? Fishies. Is that funny? Is that funny? <laughs> Yay! Okay, so all right. <laughs> back to the awards for best throwback episode. One of my all-time favorites, Antoine and Carmen. Classic. I mean, you should have never called me a fat ass, Kelly Price. It's that simple. All right. So congratulations to you guys. And if you didn't know, they are back to being best friends, cousins, uh, all as well with Antoine and Carmen. So Did they ever hit you up? Uh, I saw Antoine last time I went to Cincinnati, actually. We took him out. All it was right. a lot of fun, yeah. Lasting friendships. So, we got two episodes left. Sorry, excuse me. Two categories left in this year's Fishies. And what, what an amazing year it's been for, for the Fishy Awards. Um, 
Let's get right to it. Let's see here. Who is it? Who that? What do we got? We've got... This is for The Realist Deal, which is a little confusing. So it's a good it's a, play, it's a it's play a, on it's words. It's a good play on words. But basically, we were looking for your favorite episode where the catfish actually turned out to be who they said they were, which doesn't happen often, but we've had it happen a few times. Your vote for The Realist, or your favorite episode where the catfish turned out to be real was from last season with Leah and Justin. Mm. Remember, Leah was from New York, and we took her to California. Why didn't they meet? He was playing the field and didn't want to get her feelings too mixed up too soon, because I think he was sort of... Are they still together? Well, so then she moved oh, to right. California. Oh, right. Of course. Oh, I remember this and one. She, and the last we spoke to her, they were, they, they were together, and she moved in, I think, and she was in school. I don't know what's up now, but... You guys win for the realest deal. You only win one, so you better still live together. That's right. Hopefully you're still together. And if you're not, I don't know who gets the trophy. You guys are going to have to share it. We'll see. All right. Cleo, what do you think so far of this year's awards? I think it's awesome. You having fun? <laughs> well, I threw up. What's, what, it's really about me. <laughs> what catfish are you most excited to see on the runway on the, on the screen tonight? <laughs> Baby sneezes. Oh, you're the best. All right, well. The Fishies really is a family affair. We're down to the final award Whoa. for this year's Fishies, guys, okay? And that's for Ultimate Catfish Hook. What does that mean? I'm not sure, actually. Get that. What does that mean? I can't remember. Maybe it was like a lot of people just catfishing one person hmm. or something. Well. Ultimate hook. Like you, a large. Maybe like a, let's see, a intricate web. Maybe it was like the most intricate web. Perhaps. Anyway, the award for ultimate catfish hook. Great job, guys. Goes to Andrea Russett for the episode we did with Alex and Andrea. Wait a second. Is that right? I think so. Yeah. I think I got that right. Oh, there were two Andreas on that? Yeah. Well, I'm confused. Point is... Great. Work. Congratulations, <laughs> Andrea Russet. I, I think you were on that episode with Alex. He was a... <laughs> Sneeze on there. Sneeze on it. Are you allergic to fish? Are you allergic to fishies? She's like, cats only, please. Let's see if she'll hold it. Let's make her do a trick. All right, ready? <sighs> Look. It's the Fishy Awards. Whoa. Yay. You play with that yeah. She's just grabbing and stuff, so. Come on. You want it. Get it. Oh, there she goes. She's, oh. She sees it. Yeah. Yay. Good job. Oh. Good job. Woo. All right. Good All work. right. Well, that wraps up the award ceremony for the first annual Fishies Awards. These have been your incredible co-hosts, Laura, you, Laura and Cleo, and we're all super excited to tune in tonight for the season premiere of season six. Yes. It's on at eight, seven central. We'll be live tweeting. Oh yeah. If you're not following Laura on Twitter, you're using Twitter wrong. <laughs> all she does is troll me. She... I've got an account to troll me exclusively. Yeah. Which is probably also what her Facebook page, which is... <laughs> tagged below is sort of for as well. He's um, so easy to make fun of. I know. Apparently I'm a sucker. <laughs> so check out Laura's Facebook page. Check out her Twitter. If you haven't added me, you know, it's, I, I have to say I'm a little hurt. The Catfish Facebook page has almost 3 million fans and I only have like 2.4 so what's up with those like six hundred thousand fans that don't also like me? <laughs> it's a, it hurts. I gotta say it hurts a little bit. They're, they, they're there for Max. Maybe they're there for Max. <laughs> Maybe they like the show, but they don't like me. Whoa. I mean, yeah. Okay. Anyway, this has been Neve and Family bringing you the Fishies Awards. Please don't forget tune in tonight for the season premiere of Catfish right. at eight o'clock. And thanks for watching. You guys are amazing. I love making this show. And hopefully we'll keep doing it. And you guys will keep watching it. And it's a win-win. Yes. All right, Cleo. Say okay. goodbye. Bye. Bye.